He was straightforward and unpredictable, but also a skillful politician. He branded himself as a man of action, a departure from the more modest, stately styles of his predecessors. Tanzania's vice president announced his death. It is with deep regret that I inform you that today we lost our brave leader, the president of the Republic of Tanzania, John Pombe Magufuli, who died of heart disease in the Zena Hospital in Dar es Salaam. Born in 1959 to a peasant farmer, Magufuli has been in politics since 1995 when he was first elected to parliament. As a public works minister, he was nicknamed the bulldozer for programs to build roads, railways and other infrastructure. He came to power in 2015 on a platform of fighting corruption. Yet, his handling of the coronavirus pandemic of the past year was widely criticized. He urged Tanzanians to put their faith in home remedies and dismissed vaccines and lockdown measures to prevent the spread of the virus as a Western conspiracy. Let me ask religious leaders to insist on prayers. God has never left the nation. We attained middle income status with coronavirus. Various projects continue to be implemented and we didn't impose lockdowns. We are not imposing lockdowns even now because we know God is there all the time. His death came after a long absence from the public, sparked rumors that Magufuli had contracted the coronavirus. News of his passing sparked mixed reaction, with many saying the country had lost a man of the people. Dr. John Magufuli was a man of action and a leader who put the interest first of every Tanzanian citizen. He was always urging us to work hard. He has left us, but his slogan, Strictly Business, will last. Some political analysts agree Magufuli left his country more prosperous. He has left a country in which corruption has decreased, and he brought discipline to the government that was not there before. He has left Tanzania with many projects, such as airports, electricity, and others, that will boost the country's economy. But his time in power also drew considerable criticism, especially actions that his critics say threatened freedom of expression. It is better we say that there are some issues that we in the opposition have been raising over voices about since Magufuli's leadership started. Unfortunately, they were not given priority by his leadership. The incoming president, Samia Hassan, should give priority to these issues, like economic, political and social prosperity and human rights. Vice President Hassan will lead the country for the remainder of Magufuli's term, becoming the first female president in the East African nation. Charles Kombe, for VA News, Dar es Salaam.